beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. I just want to say welcome if you're new to my channel and um, hope you think about subscribing. And welcome back my OGs. Mm. I'm excited. Do you know what today is? Today's my birthday. And I want to also say happy birthday to Jennifer. Um, we share the same birthday. And I just want to let you and your mom know that I do use this bag that you got me last year. I am very thankful. That's my trailer bag going back and forth to the trailer. So I want to thank you very, very much. So anyways, today I have to work on my birthday, but that's all right. It's fun. I enjoy my coworkers, so that makes the day even better. So with that, today we're going to do some paint pour. I've been watching, I'm pretty sure it's Amanda's Designs, and she's been using spray paint in her paint pours. So I was playing around, I didn't have the right paint, but I tried this one the other day, and not too bad, and you guys all know I'm not a pink girl, but I was trying just something different. So today I'm going to mix my paints. I'm using, um, I had these containers. It's already got the, the glue water mix to use as a pouring medium. And it is, um, I'm pretty sure this one is 60, 40, 60% glue, 40% water. And I'm going to add that to my paints and I'm going to add a bit more water because I want it to be a little more fluid so I can pour it all on and yeah so I'm going to mix my paints up and I'll leave one of them so I can show you how I mix it and I'll be right back I'm going to get the crown off I had to put it on for my birthday so you never know I might take it to work and wear it at work they they'd laugh at me anyways <laughs> anyways I'll see you in a sec guys okay I am back so the colors I'm going to use today are these three blues and a green so this is um Pebbio Studios Blue Cobalt Opaque. This one is Pebbio Studios Blue Cerulean. Probably butchering that one. My apologies. And this one is one of the loves of my life. This one is Pebbly <clears throat> Pebbio Studios Iridescent Blue Green. So I thought those would be pretty. And the paint can that I'm using. Look at this. <laughs> is golden acrylic is that the name of the company is golden i was really having a hard time i thought it was broken because it they sell it without a lid but there was a freaking little clip on the bottom i was taking it back to the store because i thought it was broken but i shook it and the clip fell out. <laughs> so that's fine so the white i'm using i went el cheapo i went and bought this craft smart jug so we're gonna see if it works this is my first time using it but i did not want cells and i finding that the artist loft acrylic flow white that we used to use there's so many cells in it so i had to find a different white and i didn't want to spend a lot of money so i was being cheap so that's what i used so mixing let me put these over here I thought I might need a little more white than what I have there. So how I mixed it was, this is my pouring medium. I've had this made for a long, long time. I was watching Julie from Pour Your Heart Out when she was doing her painting stuff. And I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if it's either 70% glue for 30% water or if it was 60-40. So that I apologize for. So I'm going to take this cup and it's two parts of the pouring medium. And one part of the paint. And this is that Craft Smart paint. Mix that thoroughly. I 
I always like putting the medium, the pouring, whatever it is you're mixing, in first. And then that way you're not trying to scrape your paint off the bottom of the container. And then this is already water from when I was mixing the white. You want to do maybe a full one because, oh jeepers, because do you see how runny that is? I want it to be quite fluent, almost like my Dutch pour mix. So I'm doing one, we're going to pour a little bit in. So that's half of what I had there. And you want to pour, when you're pouring the water, you want to do it in, in bits because you do not want it to go clumpy. If it's going to go clumpy, you're going to be, I'm making a mess. Here, let me put it in a bigger cup. Making a mess. There we go. And you can always use this white. That's why I was thinking, even if I don't use it all, I can use it for another one. Because I think I might be doing this a couple times because it's really pretty. Now, Amanda's designs, she doesn't, she just says my paint's mixed, <laughs> but she doesn't tell you how to mix it. So this is my way of doing it. So we're going to see if it works. And I got to wipe my gloves because I'm a messy Marvin. Oh. So, update, my new pills are amazing. Oh my goodness, guys, I tell you, I feel so much better. I still have no time, but I feel, oh, I feel so human again. It's just, it is crazy, and I'm not one for taking pills. I hate taking pills, but I tell you. These ones are really working, which is good. So I have this canvas. It is push pinned. It is taped. I love these little large push pins. And it is a 10 by 20. These are those value packs from Michaels. And we're going to get into this. So with this, I would wear a mask. I would even go outside if you can. But I am choosing to not wear the mask. I've got my window open in my basement. I've got my Dyson air purifier on. So please, okay, just be safe. And like I said, it's not just resin that you have to be careful with. It's every, almost everything we use sometimes is so toxic. All right, here we go, guys. Are you ready? I'm excited because I think this is going to be pretty. So let's get, we're going to put some... I'm going to try and do the corners white. So I'm just going to lay down some white. We're going to do in strips like I did the other one. And then I'm just going to layer some colors. I don't want to go too crazy because I don't want to lose the color. <clears throat> and I'm going to try and put this metallic one in between the two blues. And then maybe a strip down here. Maybe we'll just do this blue on this. This is kind of like a purpley blue. And then this one, we'll just kind of go like that, like that. And then I'm gonna put some white in here. It's all up to you how you want to do this because this is kind of fun. There, I'm just trying to make sure that <laughs> it wouldn't be a part of my um, 
channel if I didn't make a goof up, right? So I do want to make sure I'm picking up all of the white from the edges and making sure that <clears throat> my corners and all of that. I'm not too worried that's going to get tipped off. So you want to make sure everything is covered so it's going to flow. And I might have made this too watery, but hey, you live and learn. And that's how we go. All right. <laughs> All right, we're just going to give this a little wipe. And then now, oh, let me just, here, let me just pour a little white on the edge here, just so this side goes too. Gonna do little spurts. And then we are going to move it around. Sorry if you're not seeing it tilting this way, but I'm going to add some more paint. And then we're going to give it one more little go. Just going to bring it right off the edge here. to go so this corner comes off and there I think that that's that and I hope it dries nice see that's easy oh we got a bald spot here <laughs> I'm gonna tilt it back this way for a second I just want to get that off there because I do not like that there. Come, 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 come. Hurry up. There it goes. Oh, and I'm going to leave that because that looks kind of funky. I was going to bring it back off. But there we go. I'm leaving that. That looks so cool. Now I'm going to just like your Dutch pour, you want to scrape the sides. I have so much on the bottom, I should have put my mat down there because that would be some beautiful um, what do you call it when you're being, <laughs> oh my goodness. When the paint dries. I've lost it for the second. I think this is pretty sweet. Well, there we go. I'm going to take my gloves off. I'm going to bring you down for a close up. Now, you won't see the dried one today, just so I can get your video up. But I think that's cool. I wasn't wanting cells, but I think that's actually kind of cool. Because I think that's neat. And then that's going to dry just like gold. That's pretty sweet. I love that streak in there. And I love that I actually covered the Peblio iridescent with the gold because then now it's not going to compete with it, if that makes sense. They're going to be together. So anyways, I'm going to stop you for a sec. I'm going to bring you down and I'll give you a close up and I'll see you in a second. Here we go, guys. This is going to be so I wasn't sure about that, but the more they're coming up, I love the wispy in that. I think that is amazing. And I'm 100% sure that gold is going to dry just how it is. Pretty. 
pretty darn sweet. There you go. And as you can tell, I did it in my colors. My birthday, my colors. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed today's short and sweet little video. And please show the love. Give um, Jennifer a happy birthday, my birthday buddy. And also I want to wish my amazing son-in-law his birthday's today too. So happy birthday, Ben. Love you. Best son-in-law ever. Um, so with that, my beautiful people, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I think this is pretty sweet. In my next one, I will show it to you dry. And yeah, so with that, I'm going to give a little shout out to my sponsors, which I love doing because I love being um, generous with my time. So here we go. Um, I'd like to thank Laura <clears throat> from Laura's Art Corner. I have my two Lorez distributors, and Laura is my American Lorez distributor, um, my glitter guru. Um, go check her website out. Um, and my discount code for Laura is all capital letters, Sherry Moulton, 10%. And my Canadian Lorez distributor is um, Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. My discount code for Michelle is Sherry Moulton, 10, capital S, capital M. I have the code discount code for Let's Resin, which is Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. And don't forget, I have the Canadian, the American, and the UK link in there. I have um, Crystal Resin with my discount code is Sherry Molten 5, capital S. I have the Washi Tape Shop, and my discount code for them is all capital letters Sherry Molten, or sorry, Sherry 10. And I have um, for new shoppers from Timu, I have a code for use if you want to use it. It is 30% off. It is SALE6982. And I have the links to where to purchase the amazing Julie Cuts from Pour Your Heart Out, her molds. I have the link in there. I have the link for molds and shapes molds. And I have the link to where to buy TriArt Liquid Glass. And my Amazon links are there. And my PayPal link is if you choose to donate. So with that long-winded exit, and with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.